Hello, welcome once again to Morgate Andrology. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about penis fillers, and in particular, the long-term cost of penis fillers. So, penis fillers have become really popular in the last five years since we introduced them to the UK here at Morgate Andrology. And they are an alternative to a fat transfer in terms of increasing your penis girth. Now, penis fillers, uh, are similar to a fat transfer insofar as they're capable of increasing your penis girth when your penis is flaccid and erect. They are temporary in nature, of course, and this is what I want to focus on here in this particular video. So unlike a fat transfer, when the results last uh, many years, a uh, penis filler is meant to last for a relatively short duration. There have been improvements in the longevity of penis fillers in the last few years, and now we have penis fillers which uh, can last as long as two years between top-up treatments. And it's these top-up treatments that you need to be aware of. So hyaluronic acid breaks down naturally in the body, and that's why penis fillers are not permanent. And after you've had your penis filler, you will notice that very, very slowly, the results will start to diminish as the hyaluronic acid absorbs. Now, the longest lasting hyaluronic acid is around two years duration. And given that you need to have penis fillers in pretty significant quantities, it perhaps makes sense to have the hyaluronic acid filler that lasts the longest. In the first treatment, most patients tend to have around 10 to 15 milliliters of hyaluronic acid. Again, this is significantly more filler that's injected normally into the face to fill in wrinkles and plump up the lips where maybe only one or two milliliters are needed. So it's very important that you find uh, uh, a good quality uh, filler, perhaps such as Juvederm, which is tried and tested in the penis. Uh, and also that has the propensity to last around two years between top-ups. The longer the hyaluronic acid lasts, the better value you're going to get from the treatment. Now, after around two years, you will need to have the hyaluronic acid topped up. And that's why they're called top-up treatments. But when you come back, typically, you should have around 50% of the fillet still remaining in the penis and it will literally need to be topped up with about half the amount that you had in the first treatment. Now, the great thing about hyaluronic acid treatments are they're very easy to get done, of course. There's not, no surgery involved, so you simply come to the clinic, um, we, uh, we give you some topical anaesthetic cream to apply to the penis, and then a penile block anaesthetic is performed at the base of the penis to numb it. This is really important, and not all clinics offer that, but it makes the uh, treatment uh, completely painless. And then the uh, filler is injected around the shaft to thicken it. And the great thing is, of course, is that you can go home directly after the treatment. You don't need to have anyone come and collect you from the treatment center. There are no restrictions. And the recovery time is quicker than a fat transfer too. So whereas with a fat transfer, you cannot have sex for around four weeks with a penis filler, uh, you can, you're back to sexual activity in seven to 10 days. But let's get back to those costs. So you're going to have to budget for top-up treatments, typically every two years, if you choose the longest lasting filler. So there is an ongoing cost. So although, Penis fillers are cheaper in the short term. They are far more expensive in the medium to long term than a fat transfer. That's something perhaps to bear in mind. Around 30% of patients who come to Morgate Andrology and have penis filler will convert to a fat transfer at the top up stage after around two years. The final point I want to make is, of course, that uh, the duration 
uh, of the, uh, the results, the longevity of the results, does vary from patient to patient. So although we say the longest lasting filler has a two year duration, you have to remember that uh, the absorption of hyaluronic acid in your body may be quicker or indeed slower than the two year average. And you will not know specifically how long the filler is going to last in your case, in your body, until you've had the first treatment. Very rarely, hyaluronic acid can absorb very, very quickly. Uh, I've seen cases where it has absorbed in a matter of weeks, but this is very, very rare. But it's something that you should bear in mind when you're considering a way to thicken your penis. But clearly, hyaluronic acid injections to uh, increase penis girth are going to be around, I think, for a long time, uh, simply because of the, the, um, the ease and the simplicity of the treatment with very little downtime. As an alternative, uh, you should look at also a fat transfer, just so you have the full picture of the ways in which urologists can increase your penis girth. Well, that's all from me today. I hope that's given you some idea of the long-term costs of penis fillers and other options available. I look forward to seeing you back here at Morgate Andrology very soon. But until then, bye for now.